Chuseok, one of Korea's biggest holidays, is right around the corner. Naturally, the nation's cultural calendar is packed with options. The traditional performing arts foundation continues to provide something extra special. Cha Sang-mi zooms in on a performance held at Gyeongbokgung Palace. Passersby are mesmerized by an intriguing performance of Korean traditional music and dance. As part of this year's Korean Traditional Music Festival, a contemporary fusion performance is being held at Gyeongbokgung Palace, the largest of the five remaining Joseon Dynasty palaces in Seoul. The palace sitting adds something to the place atmosphere, and if you really want to get in the mood, entry is free of charge for those dressed in hanbok, Korea's traditional clothing. The Korean Traditional Performing Arts Foundation, under Korea's Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism, was founded in 2009 with the purpose of preserving and passing down Korea's traditional arts. We've hosted this program since 2010. Previously, visitors to the palace would briefly drop by our show, but it has become massively popular over the years. Now our audience comes to the palace just to see our plays. This year's Gyeongbokgung performance features a contemporary interpretation of Korean King Jongjo's encounter with Prince Hamlet of Denmark. It's obviously nice to perform inside halls, but the scenic beauty provided by the palace makes it a whole new experience. I believe it makes our performance all the more fascinating when it's held in this ancient palace. I wasn't sure what kind of play it was from far away. I thought it was a Korean traditional play, but I saw it was a mixture of Western and Korean figures. It was really well made. Total attendance at some 380,000 Koreans and foreigners have enjoyed the program so far, along with the stunning night view of Korea's palaces. The palace concert program takes place twice a year in four different palaces and shrines in Seoul during spring and fall. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.